Well, it's been a very, very busy day for police as uh, first they increased that cordon from 200 metres to 300 metres. Uh, the edge of that cordon is just behind me and there's been a very steady stream of people who've been travelling up here only to have to turn back as they reach the cordon. Also, police have been going door to door to advise people within this cordon to evacuate their homes. Uh, people have been taking that advice and they've been heading away from the area. Uh, just to give you a scale of uh, the disruption here, usually we've seen uh, some of these bombs unearthed in places like Spitalfields, places where there's lots of construction, but they've usually only taken about a couple of hours to deal with. This bomb has taken almost 20, uh, more than 24 hours and certainly almost two days uh, to deal with. Uh, there's been scenes of anger and frustration by many of the residents here who have been unable to get back into their homes or unable to get to work, uh, and many who are facing another night outside of their homes. Uh, Army pictures show the scale of the operation, trying to de defuse this half-ton bomb and get it safely away from the area. Uh, they've been working hard overnight, and so far we've heard that they've been building a sort of mesh around it that they've been filling with concrete, really to dampen any blood last that happens if they fail to defuse it uh, inside the area. We've also seen uh, inside the cordon footage that we shot earlier shows ghostly scenes of empty streets dotted uh, infrequently with police officers who've been uh, put there to maintain that cordon, as well as several army vehicles prepped and ready to move that bomb as soon as it's been defused.